Yeah, I guess we are. You know, we just, uh, you know, our, our notice is just keep the season interesting. You know, we're obviously we're, we're training well. There's excitement among the group, but obviously winning, you know, keeps us alive. And we said we want to ask questions of other sides, and by winning, we just keep doing that and enjoying what we do. And you know, if we can, you know, keep keep as we are, you know, and hopefully get to the last game against Connacht with something to play for, we'll be thrilled. Yeah, I hadn't really considered next week, to be honest. As I said, we've just lived uh, in the here and now. This week, we've prepared thoroughly for Leinster. Knowing that they're the champion side, they ask so many different questions. You know, as they always do, they come off a, a tough turnaround for themselves. But, you know, top players like Healy, Heaslip, you know, banging at the door today. You know, and we showed a lot of spirit, grit and resolve, you know, to hang in there. We didn't always have the control we desire, uh, especially second half. There was a few set pieces that perhaps uh, we slipped off and allowed them to build score, the score and put us in a bit of pressure. But we did rally and I thought the last quarter we sort of shut up shop, gained the penalty ourselves and, you know, pleasingly put the game to bed. Now, even if the playoffs are out of your hands now, does the, the actual final confirmation of Europe set up and the fact that the top six will gain European qualification, does that make sure that you still have definitely something that is in your own hands and something you can play for? No, we're just focused on playoffs. Uh, we've always been confident. Whatever you know, European competition was going to come through, we'd be, you know, in that sort of setup to do so. That was always as a coaching team. We've got that confidence. But as I said, the note is, you know, for us to keep winning. You know, and as I said, ask questions of the other sides. If we get to a position where some of those sides have got to win two out of three, that's tricky considering the fixtures. So as I said, we'll just try and build on what we've done tonight. There's still gaps in our game which uh, we're not overly happy about. But you know, we try and fill them as quick as we can and recognise the good in us as well and individually again this strong performances who are growing in the shirt and you know whether we make it this year or not, you know, I'm confident we're gonna be a good side in twelve, eighteen months and for the future of the Ospreys. I still been pleased with Mr. Baker today on his footwork. Yeah, he's mesmeric really. I mean, we've seen him come through just since he was sixteen really and knowing he's got that ability, but watching him develop over the last twelve months to someone with an aptitude for the professional game now understands the full demands uh, behind the scenes means that they then come and hit the ground running really and, and you're right he can beat someone in a metre space and after a nervous start you know he had a couple of little moments which as I said excite us for the future because we've got him a whole host of other young forwards coming through and line breakers behind the scrum now so we feel we're heading in a decent direction. Griff do you believe he's ready for South Africa? Uh, yeah I think to be fair, someone like Robin has you know, seen Dan you know, for the number of years in, in, our, in our system and knows uh, what we've tried to do with him and capped him last summer. So he's got to be in the mix based on now, I think, earning his spurs at regional level. You know, I wouldn't begrudge him earning a shirt and you know, trying to push Toby for the, for the next few years. Do you think he was capped a bit too early last summer and now he's actually proved himself ready for international honours after a, a full season, if you like, with the Ospreys? Oh, in some ways, but I think you know that just is in line with Welsh rugby, really, where you've perhaps, as a national coach, I can only guess they, they do look at the talent and know that there's perhaps a player there uh, that can be on the international scene for a long time. Um, and then it's obviously up to us to try and work with the national coaches about what he needs and how to make him fulfil that potential. So we've gone about that our end with a lot of, I think, good hard work behind the scenes, and he is starting to realise that potential. Griff, you still have a lot to do, though, do you know, to make the playoffs? Yeah, without doubt. I mean, obviously, we've got to go three from three and, uh, you know, it may be a couple of bonus points that have got to be thrown in there, but that challenge does excite us. As I said, we're trying to develop some of our attacking play and some of it today, you know, really challenged the Leinster defence, you know, certainly uh, more than we did in the European campaigns. You know, different competition and different time of year, admittedly, but I think we're showing progress there and we are excited about... I will think about the millennium now, about next week, then perhaps a game that can, you know, try and stretch the Dragons also. If you do, that's got to put you in a good chance of reaching the playoffs, hasn't it? Looking at other fixtures. Yeah, you do. I'm not going to lie, you do do the maths around. If you get 15, well, Team X has got to get this amount of points. If you get 14 and so on, and you know, we will just look to you know, keep pushing our 
attacking game on, get a bit firmer tactically with what we're trying to do, but look at where we can take opportunities because we're still frustrated that we didn't camp long enough in opposition 22 second half and there was probably three or four soft turnovers where you know we could have put the game to bed. I'm sure they'd have come back strong, but you know we, if we're going to be as perfect as we can be, we obviously can have to take those against each of our remaining sides, but knowing that we're there to be shot at also. Oh.